We'll take questions for Kevin. Right here, Tim, on the right side. Hey, Kevin, uh, Tim Bottas from the Washington Post. Uh, obviously, you've been teammates with LeBron for a few years now. He's got a streak of, I think, 30 straight series with a road playoff win. Um, obviously, you guys are the underdog in the series. You don't have home court advantage. How, how much confidence does that give you guys as a team to know you have a guy that's been able to go on the road year after year and have that kind of consistent level of success, obviously, at the highest level in the playoffs? Yeah, it gives us a lot of confidence. Um, you know, we have a number of guys with uh, with experience and um, a lot of playoff minutes, a lot of years logged in this league, and you know, been in a number of these situations before. And Braun, I mean, he's at the forefront of that. He's ahead of that. So just having a guy that's been here, done that before, you know, has so much confidence in everything that we do and walks the walk, it you know allows us to, to be ourselves to be confident in, in approaching game two. Janie in the front. Hi, hi Kevin. Left. Janie McCauley from Associated Press. Um, how do you guys go about stopping the ball so that Durant doesn't go down the lane untouched, but also getting to shooters? You know, it's, it's a challenging task, I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's what stuck out in, uh, you know, in film the past two days was that, uh, you know, we have to be able to stop the ball. We have to take smart fouls, especially in transition if they have numbers and, um, you know, load up. We got to know when, when to crash on offensive glass, um, you know, know that we're going to be cross match in transition, you know, f one through five, really, uh, especially against their shooters. So, you know, those. Those times where they got into the paint, especially in that first half, I believe they had 42 points in the paint in the first half, some around there. So some that we really need to try to uh, try to take out, force them into tough contested shots from the perimeter or you know from the two-point. Fifth row towards the back. Hey, Kevin, Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. You've talked all along about how great you guys are when you play with pace, and that's when you're at your best. How do you do that and not allow it to get into a track meet that could favor Golden State the way that it did in game one? I think just uh, excuse me. we're so good at uh, when we get stops. I mean, it, it's all predicated on our defense, and it has been that way all year. When we're, we're able to get stops, and uh, I mentioned us having a great game plan, not giving up those uh, those transition buckets and those paint buckets. When, when we're able to do that, we're so, such a better team, and uh, that allows us and, and dictates our pace a lot of the time. So, um, yeah, I think it is. Uh, you know, we're fortunate enough to, to be able to play both both styles, a number of styles of basketball in the half court as well. But, um, yeah, we definitely don't want to, you know, make it attract me or make it anything that, that favors them. But at the end of the day, I think our pace is, is, is what makes us great, and, and we have to play that way. Any other questions for Kevin? Michael, over here on the aisle. Kevin, uh, on the roster, you have guys like Kyle, uh, Darren Williams, people who weren't through this a year ago, been in the league a long time without getting the chance. What dynamic have they brought, not just as players, but you know that that trying to get that ring 13 years in the league? What, what's it been meant to your team and your locker room? Um, you know, talked about and mentioned experience with this team. Those are two guys that have, uh, you know, what Darren's been to Western Conference Finals, uh, been been on a number of uh, of teams with experience. You know, Kyle Eastern Conference Finals, uh, both have been All Stars in this league. Guys that have played at a very high level. So um, I think having that level of professionalism and just you know being so hungry and knowing what it takes and and having the willingness to do whatever it takes to 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 win a title is is you know big, especially from guys of of, of that caliber. Does it add a little bit of a freshness? Not that anyone and anyone who's been here three times would take it for granted, right. but to get here for the first time and this far into their career has got to be special. Yeah, it definitely is special, and um, you know I think that uh, you know now just going into to game two, finding why, ways to to get those guys going, to get our bench going, and uh, I know those are the two guys you're mentioning, but. Um, you know, just looking for opportunities and, and, and breaking down the film, seeing where they can be effective because they, they do mean so much to our team. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, Rachel, right here. Kevin, what did you notice on film? Did they play you significantly differently than they did last year during the finals or in, even at Christmas or since then? Yeah, I think more than anything, our, our defense uh, is what stuck out on film. Offensively, there's a number uh, you know, of shots that could have fallen, things we could have done better, um, you know, setting – 
numerous picks, keeping the ball moving to both sides, but defensively just uh, not only in transition but in the half court, just making them feel us. I think uh, a level of physicality uh, being brought to the series, especially in game two, is going to be huge for us and setting the tone. And more than anything, I think that's what ultimately stuck out for us. What about you, though, the way they went at you personally? Did sure. it feel different from either Christmas or January or last year or anything specific to this series? Yeah, I mean, definitely they, they've 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 gotten better since what well, we saw them Christmas and like you mentioned, uh, I don't know when in January, but we saw them here. Yeah. Um, but definitely they've gotten better. We feel like we have as well. Um, but it's, you know, definitely, uh, you know, the NBA Finals have a different feel in themselves and uh, every Every game is different. Uh, every series is different. Every matchup that you're going into, every game is, is going to be a little, little off, a little different. So you just have to be able to, uh, you know, adjust and make yourself effective. The back row. Back row. Courtney Cronin, Bay Area News Group. What do you notice about the difference in this rotation of their bigs as compared to where it was last year? I spoke with Tristan. He said that the first word he brings up is athleticism and, you know, having to out jump guys, things like that. Yeah, I mean, they. Uh, I mean, whether it's Zaza or, or Javel or David West um, or even Draymond uh, playing the five, they have a number of different styles and, and ways that they can play. But, um, you know, for some of the game, they were putting, you know, Draymond at the five and, um, you know, putting KD at the four. So they were they were going small and getting out on transition and, and finding each other. And that unit is so good at, at, at passing the ball and, and, you know, playing for one another that, uh, I mentioned the cross matching in, 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 in transition and defensively in the half court as well. Just being able to, to, to guard at all five positions with us is going to be really key or for us. Any last question? Thanks, Kevin. Thanks. Kyrie will be in shortly.